iOS 7 has many new amazing features that you have to know. So, here are the top 15 features I picked. Let's start with this useful tip. If you want to make the most of your iPhone camera, follow these steps. Tap camera, click formats, and turn on Pro Raw and Resolution. Then, tap on Pro Default. Now, you should change the default setting to HIF Max, up to 48 wow. megapixel. Don't worry about the file size, it's only 5 megabytes. How did Apple manage that? This is available to all iOS 17 users. Did you know you can now change the focus point, even for the pictures you've already taken? Simply tap on the area you want to focus on. You can also adjust the level of blurriness if you like. You gotta check out this amazing new feature. Remember how with iOS 16, you could cut out the subject from the background? With iOS 17, it got to the next level. Now you can simply tap on add sticker, and voila! But what's even cooler is that if you tap and hold on any sticker, you can select add effect, and there are four different effects to choose from. You can add effects like this. I bet you want to try it out. iMessage has improved again. Now, all you need to do is swipe right. Yes, swipe right, and you can quickly reply to a specific message. It's incredibly convenient, especially when you're in a group chat. I can't believe iMessage didn't have this feature until now. Next, tap this plus icon. You can add stickers. Then you can send the sticker. But this is more fun. You can now easily drag your custom stickers onto messages within the messages app. Just like this. Not only that, you can also rotate the sticker and adjust its size. Give it a try. It's a lot of fun. Thank goodness. With iOS 17, voice messages are transcribed. This feature is incredibly helpful, especially in situations like this. You'll truly appreciate it. This is a safety and security feature. You're out at night, saying bye to friends or loved ones, and promising to let them know when you arrive home. However, they worry because you often get too tired and end up falling asleep. Sound familiar? This feature might be perfect for you. Tap on the plus icon, locate check-in, and adjust its position if you want. Once you send it, you can choose the location or just your home. You can select the mode of transportation such as car, train or walking. They will receive a notification when you arrive home. How this works is, when you tap your iPhone against another iPhone that also has the iOS 17 update, you can instantly swap contact details. If you ever want to get someone's contact details, you're literally just going to bang an iPhone together like this. I think this is damn cool. If you are enjoying the video, please consider subscribing. Make sure to turn on the live voicemail. Because this is super useful. When someone calls you, but for some reasons, you don't want to answer. And maybe the caller leaves you a voicemail. Then here is the magic. You can see a live transcription in real time. If you want, you can answer the call in the middle. You get to customize exactly how you're represented when you give people a call. This might be one of the biggest hits when it comes to the new update. To create or edit it, tap your name, and in the top right, click on Edit. Then you have so many different options you can choose from. So, I decided to go with Photo. You can resize and position your image but then decide on a different style. Maybe you want to cut the background out, or just change the background color. I like this. Then, you can update your contact photo which will represent you in apps like Messages. If you don't want to go with your pictures, you can choose Memoji, or Monogram. There are lots of options to choose from. I like this robot. I'm excited to see my friend's contact poster. I gotta make some friends first. This is another huge favorite of mine. So it basically turns your iPhone into a bedside clock. You just charge your phone, and place it in landscape mode, or via MagSafe charger. Then, bam! You can customize however you like. Swipe up and change the themes. Change colors like this. At night, when the room is dark, the clock changes it to night mode. Or if you want, you can select a photo album for a photo display. Finally iOS has come closer to Android in terms of functionality. Let me show some widgets for you. 
First, let's take a look at the Find My App widget. If you want to change the item being tracked, simply hold the widget, tap on Edit, and select the desired item. I know this is overwhelming but, look at this. With just a glance, I can see all of my belongings. There's more. Take a look at this widget for the Contacts app. With just a tap on the widget, you can instantly access your favorite messaging app, such as WhatsApp. It's incredibly convenient. The To-Do List widget is also very handy. I find myself using this widget quite frequently. And finally, with iOS 17, they have added the Grocery List feature. I know it may seem like just a grocery list, but once you start using it, you'll realize how convenient it truly is. I had a dedicated grocery app but uninstalled it. Finally, iOS now supports multiple timers. I can't believe that Apple didn't allow this before. While it may not matter to everyone, for me, it's a welcome feature. Now the iPhone camera can recognize almost anything. I'm sure I'm not the only one, but many people have no idea what these laundry icons mean. Just take a picture of them. Open the photo gallery, and swipe up. Then, tap on this option. Voila! You're welcome! The same goes for our car icons. Don't you get freaked out when you see them? I do too. Just snap a picture and check the photo. Swipe up and tap on this option. Voila! Now you'll know what's wrong with your car. And here's another cool feature. Take a picture of your favorite food and check the photo. Swipe up and tap on this option. Ta-da! The iPhone can show you similar recipes. It's so handy. You do not need to say hey Siri. Just say Siri. Safari now offers a private mode. Using the private version is incredibly simple. Just tap on this icon and swipe left. Voila! Yay, now Safari is in private mode. Apple Maps now supports offline map downloads, which is incredibly useful when traveling abroad. Simply type in your destination, such as New York, and you can choose the specific area to download for offline use. You can pick any of them to start a new journal entry. One tap. And when you do... Finally, the journal app has been released and I've just started using it. The user interface is cool, and I'm so sure that many people will love this app. Since you made it this far, I'm sure you'll love this video too. It showcases all-time iOS features and tricks. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.